Hi guys, and welcome to your lower body, legs and butt workout on the cardio gym. So today, we're gonna focus on the lower body, working on your quads, really focusing on your glutes, your inner and outer thigh, and really challenging our legs. So when we get into our workout today, we're actually not gonna use our handles for working our upper body. We're gonna use the bike nice and heavy in the resistance to get the heart rate up, and we're gonna keep the challenge focused downstairs in the legs. To get ourselves going, first of all, we wanna get set up and onto our bike. So the first thing I'm gonna get you to do is to place your feet into the pedals, and then just try cycling a little bit for me. Making sure that when you push down and your leg is fully extended, your heel is pressing down and your knee is still slightly soft. That way, we're gonna protect the knees, challenge the legs, and still have a really safe workout. Your sit bones are back into the saddle, and your chest is gonna be lifted so your back is supported by the seat. And from here, we're ready to go. Okay guys, so first things first, we're gonna take two minutes just in an easy pedal to get ourselves moving. So you're gonna to need to use your resistance dials in this workout. Starting off with a nice light resistance, just getting into our cycling. Sit back into the saddle so we open our chest. This is gonna help us breathe and keep breathing throughout the workout and you can let the hands relax beside your body or even bring them back to the support handles here. So heels are pressed down, chest is lifted and we're just getting a bit of pace on now. So our first two minutes, we're gonna take it pretty easy. We're gonna get the knees moving, we're gonna get movement through our hips and through our ankles and we're gonna get the leg muscles warmer and ready to work. Good. All right, so that's a minute into the work. All I'm gonna get you to do is just reach forwards, add just a little, press on the resistance, add a little increase. So again, we're focusing on the pedaling, focusing on our cycling in our workout. Heels are pressing down and our chest is lifted. Good, now we should have just a nice moderate pace on the bike. We're not trying to sprint. We don't want to be too slow. So you've got to find where that's going to be comfortable for you. That you're in a challenging rhythm, but you don't feel as if the bike's going to run away from you, or you're finding it too hard to keep up just yet. Remember, this is still our warm up. All right, about 15 seconds left here, and we're going to increase the resistance, and we're really going to start to challenge the legs. All right, that's us had a little bit of time to warm up. Again, what I'm gonna get you to do now is to reach in, press on that resistance, and find a nice heavy place to be. Now watch what's gonna happen. Notice that my legs have now slowed down. I didn't slow them down. The resistance is pushing back against me, and I'm now having to push those pedals to get them moving. So use that, be honest with yourself and your resistance to get yourself to work slower. So the heels are pushing down. Remember this workout is about challenging your legs. So it doesn't wanna feel light or easy. It's meant to feel like a challenge. All right, 15 seconds here. And then guess what? We're gonna go up again. We're really gonna push the legs. We're gonna feel the muscles start to really warm up and get this work. Okay, so take a little reach forward for me. And again, I want you to add some heavy resistance. Feel your legs slow down. And now I want you to push back against them. Your heels are down. Your body is still. You're drawing the belly in. So your hips are staying square and level, but you're pushing with your legs. It shouldn't feel like a nice, easy Sunday bike ride. This is when it's gonna feel tough you should feel like you're climbing up to the top of that mountain. All right, 30 seconds to go, hold on. Push your heels down, feel the warmth in the front of your legs and your quads as they start to work. All right, 20 seconds, push the heels down nice and strong. Whew. Your heart rate 
should be shooting up as well at this point. Even though our pace has slowed, there's big work for the muscles to take on here. All right, bring your feet to a stop and bring yourself off your bike. Okay guys, coming off the bike, now you can grab your handles, because I know you've missed them. Feet hip distance, we're gonna squat and pull down. So drop down and then lengthen back. So your elbows are coming in. As you sit your hips back and down, your weight in your heels, squeeze down and push up. Now as you squat, I want you to push from your heel as you come up. Keep your chest lifted by keeping the belly locked in. Pinch between your shoulders, squat and rise. So your legs should be getting even warmer now. Weight in your heels and fire up, good. All right, so those handles give us a little bit of work for the upper body, a little more challenge for the legs as we drop down and we rise up, good. All right, five seconds. All right, release the handles straight away. Feet come out wide, knees and toes out, bring your hands in, a little plie squat. Sit back and come up. Now the common thing we see here, people want to sit forwards. Sit your hips back the way and drive down. Your weight is still in your heels, your knees are turned out in line with your toes, chest up. You can push your palms together to help keep you lifted as you drop down and up. The focus here is on your inner thigh as well as for your glutes. You want to work harder, you drop deeper, and you squeeze as you come up. Squeeze your legs in together, drop down, squeeze in. If it gets too much for you, just make the move smaller, but keep going. Good, give me one more, drop down, lift, and let's get back onto the bike. All right guys, so now we get back onto the bike. We've got another two minutes heavy. Press on that resistance for me. Start to slow your legs down a little. Let's push the heart rate back up. Hands can relax, come back to the handles. Okay, chest up, heels push down, and we start that climb up again. So the legs are nice and warm after all our squats and ready to go. All right, heels push down so we get really strong work from the legs. Now, when we get to a minute in, we're gonna go up, that mountain's gonna get even steeper, and we're gonna keep climbing to keep challenging the legs and challenging the heart rate. All right, 15 seconds, and it's gonna increase. Okay, take a deep breath. Reach in, add your resistance, slow your legs. Don't actually let your legs slow, let the resistance slow you down. Be honest with the work. If you're still going really quick, add just a little pinch more until you slow down and you feel the bike push back against you. This is where you've really got to drive. Pushing those heels down, keeping the body lifted and still to challenge the legs. Your heart rate's gonna shoot up and your breath rate. It's gonna feel harder. You're gonna get warm, but it's gonna get you great results. So stay in, you've got about 25 seconds. Hold strong, heels down, big push. All right, just on 10 seconds to go, guys. Heels stay down, really strong. Here we go. Beautiful, bring your feet to a stop and bring yourself again off your bike. Okay guys, coming off the bike, this time we're gonna grab the kayak bar and we're gonna use it to help keep us balanced. Take your hands out in front and we're gonna go for a calf raise. So, feet hip distance, just coming up onto the toes and rolling back. So lift up and sit back. Now your chest stays tall and I want you to actually squeeze your kneecaps up the way. Squeeze the front of your legs so your legs are gonna stay nice and straight and nice and long. 
push from the balls of your feet, coming all the way high up towards your toes, and then let your heels come back down the way. Keeping your belly locked in, and that kayak bar is now there as our support. So we focus on the lower section of our legs, lifting up and pressing back. So the movement comes from the ankles, comes from pushing against the floor. It's not gonna come from our knees, it's not a squat. We bring all the work right down to the basement and we work into the calves. So lift up and lengthen, give me one more and release out. All right, straight away. Take the kayak bar over to the side, step the leg closest to it, step the other leg back nice and long. We're coming into a supported lunge. So we're gonna drop the back knee down and come straight up, down and straight up. Now your back heel is lifted and your body is moving up and down. That bar in front is just there to help us keep balance. So we're not pulling ourselves up from it, it's just there to help give us a bit of support as we're a little bit wobbly in our long lunge position. Now as you go, take a little peek down for me. Your front knee should be out in line with your toes and not tempted to roll in the way. So down and up over those legs. Back heel stays tall, shoulders stay back. All right, give me one more. Now, straight away, take that over to the other side, step in and step back. Bar is there for support. Chest lifted, we sink down and up. Straight down, straight up. So your hips and shoulders are in one line, straight down through your back knee, front knee out with your toes and your back heel lifted. You're gonna get some great work for your calf by pushing those back toes into the floor and some great work for your butt by digging your heel down. Good, so we're there, we've got the cardio gym support, we've got the kayak bar to help our balance, we keep the head lifted, we keep the belly drawn in, sink down and rise up. Remember, you can make the range smaller to take some pressure out, or you can get lower to really get the work in. All right, one more. Down and up, and step it in. Let's get back on the bike. All right guys, we're back on the bike and we've got another two minutes to climb up that hill. So this time, we're in our workout, we're nice and warm, we're keeping the pressure on the legs. Straight away, add more resistance. Let the legs slow down. So they start to feel heavy, you start to feel the push under those pedals, and you push back against them. Sit back into the saddle, keep your chest lifted, so as you start to get a little bit out of breath, because hopefully you're a little bit out of breath, this is gonna help you refill those lungs and get more oxygen into your body. So sit nice and tall, bringing the hands back to the handles. All right, heels pressed down. We take on the big climb now, pushing for the legs. All right, this is the strong part. This is where we're really gonna dig in and we're really gonna work. You know it, the only way is up, reach in and grab, just a little more resistance. Feel the legs slow again, heels are pressed down, push against it, don't let it stop. You versus you. So, big push on the bike, let's do this. All right, 40 seconds to go. Here's your challenge, can you add a little bit more resistance right now. You're 30 seconds away from the top. Try and add at least one, maybe two more, and keep the legs moving. Oh, all the way to the top of the mountain now, guys. Heels are down, body's strong, keep pushing. 15 seconds to go. Hold on, nice big breath. Keep going, last 10, and guess what? We get to go back off the bikes. Push it. Oh, and we are at the top. Come down off your bike and let's work the legs. Okay guys, so what I've done now is I've just turned my cardio gym to give me a little bit more space. I'm gonna grab one handle and I'm gonna pull it all the way down onto the floor. 
Now to work out inner thigh, I'm gonna get you to step your heel over the handle and then lift the plastic part up so the strap can loop around the back and the plastic handle stays on the inside edge of your foot. That's gonna secure it into place, allowing us to use the cables to work our inner and outer thigh. So we can use the hand on top to give us some balance, soften up the knees and extend that leg out. And now we're gonna work for the inner thigh. So let's take the leg out wide and sweep across. So I want you to flex your foot here and imagine you're gonna be kicking across a little soccer ball. So your chest is lifted, we sweep and we come out wide. Now I want you to keep your foot flexed so your heel is facing down the way because that's gonna help you activate and work more from the muscles in your glutes and across your inner thigh. Your supporting leg, your knee is slightly soft and your chest is lifted tall. We have the cardio gym to help give us that support. If we want, we could even bring the kayak bar out and use that to help us balance as we focus on the leg. Now squeeze as you bring across and feel that work for your inner thigh. So straight away press in and open. So control the move as we target the smaller muscles inside the leg. Good, press across and open and press good. One more and we're gonna move on. From here, place that foot fully down and you can turn to face in towards your cardio gym. Bend your front knee and you can take the hand in front to help you balance. We're gonna lift this heel and we're gonna squeeze back to work the glutes. Now the cable's sitting on the outside edge of my knee. I lift up, I press and I flex. So it's like a little donkey kick straight back behind us. The handles are nice and secure over the trainers and we can use the cardio gym itself to help us keep balance. Belly in nice and tight, supporting legs slightly bent, and then we push and we draw in. Remember the foot stays flexed, we press with the heel to get nice strong work for all the sections of our glutes. So push and draw that leg in. Good, just a couple more here, really squeeze back, draw the knee in, press. All right, last one, and we're gonna release. Take your foot fully down, grab a hold of the cable, and then release the heel, take the cable into that hand. Now the same leg is facing the cardio gym, cable is on that side, a nice big long step back as we're gonna lunge and row. So we're gonna drop down, and pull back. So we're getting a row for our upper back, getting some work for the legs as we lunge and we rise up nice and tall. Your hips and shoulders are square. You're working behind your shoulder blade as you pull the elbow back and you sink down into those legs and push from your front heel and the toes on the back foot. Drop down and bring it up nice and tall. Good, we're nearly there. So sink and rise, squeeze and lower. Good, give me two more. All right, last one. Come on in, release the cable, and guess what? We're gonna get back on the bike. Okay guys, so we're gonna jump back onto the cardio gym. We're gonna go for another two minute, climb up to the top. Add that resistance, let's start to slow the legs, and let's start to push. Whew. So the one side is gonna feel slightly heavier from all that work we did on the floor, but don't worry, we're gonna balance that up after we finish this climb. So, heels down, body lifted, sit bones down into the seat, abs are switched on and braced to keep us still. All right, we keep going up. So if you're not feeling it too much yet, add. And then add a little bit more, just for fun. Heels push down. All right, the heart rate should be climbing up. Legs should feel nice and heavy. Now your last minute on the climb is coming up. And the last minute means it's the toughest minute. So, take a nice big breath. Focus on what you wanna get from your workout and then add that resistance on, oh, straight away, feel it kick in, feel it slow the legs, heels push down, and we're gonna climb all the way up. 
all the way to the top. Let's do this. Heart rate's coming up, breath rate coming up. Stay nice and tall. Keep breathing. Heels push down to the bottom. All right. When we hit 30 seconds in the climb, guess what? It goes up. Reach in, add that last little bit of resistance. Now really, really push. Your legs should be on fire. This is where we get strength training as well as cardio training. 15 seconds takes us to the top. Big push here, guys. Hold on, final 10. Heels down, we drive. Five seconds left. Stay with it. And we're there. Come off the cardio gym, let's hit the other side. Okay guys, so this time we come back off and we're gonna work the other leg. So attaching your cable again, stepping in with your heel and the plastic part coming to the inside of your foot. Bend that supporting leg, lift the chest, and as I say, you can use your cardio gym to help you balance here. We're gonna lift that foot out now, flex and push your heel down as we work the inner thigh. So we sweep across and we open. Good, so as I say, imagine you're kicking that soccer ball, little imaginary soccer ball in front of you. So you're squeezing across and taking it out wide. Keeping the foot flexed to help activate and work through the glutes and help work the inner thigh as well. So we're open and we squeeze. We wanna try and keep ourselves lifted by squeezing the belly and the core in. The chest stays tall and the supporting leg's got a little bend in the knee just to help us balance. So we bring the focus now in for our inner thigh as we squeeze across and we open out. So you can use that to help you balance and squeeze and open for the leg. Pull in, open wide. All right, 10 more seconds to go. And we're gonna shift around and hit the glutes. Squeeze in and open. All right, last one, bring it in. Now place the foot down step in to face the cardio gym and again you can use your bike to help support you we're going to pick the knee up and we're going to squeeze back and draw into the center now i'm bracing my belly but my chest come a little bit forwards my supporting leg is bent and that knee comes up we push back with the heel so it's like a good strong donkey kick getting the work for our glutes for our butt particularly this upper section in the top it helps get us a good shape for the back of our body. So push and draw in nice and strong. Now the cable's sitting on the outside edge of my knee as we drive back. So in nice and strong, push. You'll feel a little work as well for your supporting leg having it bent, but that's all part of the workout. Draw in, push. Last couple seconds here, guys. All right, one more. Push back, draw it in and release down. You're gonna release your foot from the handle. Take the handle in on that side. So same leg steps forward, same arm grabs the handle. Step back to a long lunge with the row. So we squeeze the elbow back. As we drop the back knee down, we load through the front heel and then we push off from the floor. So we're getting some work for our upper back and our shoulders and providing more challenge for our legs as we drop down. Stay nice and high on those back toes so you work for your calf and then dig your weight off your front heel, push it down into the floor as you come up so you work for your glutes. Sink and rise. Drop down and fire up. We are nearly there. Last little bit to work here guys. Sink down, come up sink and rise one more beautiful come up step in and release the handle one more exercise okay guys so our last minute of work for our legs here's your final challenge step out nice and wide turning your knees and toes out for me drop your hips back and down bring your palms in and hold on that's it so your final minute today is just in this hold. So your weight is back in your heels, chest lifted, squeezing in through the belly, 
knees and toes are turned out the way and all I want you to do is stay here. So your legs are on fire, they work so hard, but this is the final burn. This is where we work the inner thighs, we're working our quads, we're working for our butt, everything's working strong, we're working our core, and all we gotta do is stay here. <laughs> all right, 20 seconds more. Drop down, if you can, just one more inch. This is it, this is your last 20 seconds of work. You've nearly made it all the way to the, through this workout. Stay down as low as you can. If your legs are shaking, good. It's working. Just hold on. 15 more seconds. Stay in this. Draw your belly in nice and tight. You can do this. Oh, drop down just a tiny little bit. And then release, lengthen your legs. Well done. All I'm gonna get you to do now is let's stretch off. Turn the toes in, even hop around onto those back toes. So in that long position for the lunge, bring your hip as far forwards as you can and then drop your back knee down. So here we're gonna feel a nice big stretch along the front of the hip and all the way down the front of the thigh. If you're not feeling it, just drop down that little bit lower, but keep your chest lifted. Okay, from here, lifting up, Press your back heel down and then shift your body weight slightly forwards. Now we create length through the calf by pushing the heel into the floor and we ease the pressure out just by bringing yourself slightly forwards. All right, come on up, turn the heel in, turn the knees and toes out. We're gonna drop down but don't worry, this one we're not gonna hold. We're just gonna come as low as we can, releasing through the inner thighs. So you can keep your hands up. If you're feeling really flexible, drop your elbows down and then try and drop your hips down. Send your knees out and feel the stretch across the inner thigh. Oh. Okay, from here, just gently lifting up and out. And all we're gonna do is turn that one. So turn around, you may even want to hop onto those back toes. We bring the hip forwards and we sink down. Chest stays lifted and we feel the release in the front of the hip flexor here. So the body nice and tall. Remember, if you want a little more, just drop the back knee lower, keep the chest lifted. All right, we lift up and out, push your heel down and then think about bringing your body weight forwards pressing that back heel down to release the calf. Hands can balance in front. Okay, gently bringing yourself in. So we're gonna walk the feet in, and we're gonna to come to a little glute stretch. Using your cardio gym for balance, you can take the ankle onto your knee, and then sit your hips, come back and down. Good. Flex your foot, and then just gently pressing above your knee to get that nice stretch for your glutes. Remember, if you need more, sink lower, press a little bit stronger on top. All right, gently bring yourself up, and then just to the other side. So the ankle onto your knee, sit the hips back and down, flex your foot, and then you can press gently just above that knee, just to work that little bit more to stretch for your glutes. Good, and gently coming up. All right, last one. Again, using the cardio gym for balance, you can take your heel into your hip, knees together, chest lifted, and we push the hips forwards. So we just lengthen out through the front of the thigh for our quads. So from all that climbing up the mountain we did today, this is just gonna help release out any tension and help improve the blood flow and the flexibility of the body. Good, and then just to the other side. So heel into your hip, Knees together, hips square, keep the chest lifted, 
and just feel that stretch all the way down the front of your thigh. Good, and then from here guys, just give yourself, give yourself a big round of applause. Well done guys, you've just completed your lower body, legs and butt workout on the cardio gym.